computer keyboard is one of the oldest computer input device. The first image that usually pops in your mind is probably your Dell or Logitech keyboards that comes with your desktop PC. Or perhaps you're exposed to the gaming industry and currently rocking one of those gaming mechanical keyboards. Today, I'm going to show you something rather special. And here it is, the Vortex Poker 3 RGB Compact Mechanical Keyboard. It features a 60% layout instead of a 100% layout because it has 61 keys as opposed to the regular full-size 104 keys. Let's find out what does Vortex has to offer for such a small keyboard. What you get in the box is the keyboard and the USB cable only. And no, this is not a wireless keyboard. You need to plug it in to use it, but you have the option to strap the cable if you accidentally broke it. Or if you're like me, having a few keyboards lying around, a removable cable makes life a lot easier. Though I would be happier if they had micro USB instead of the mini USB. The keyboard, despite being smaller, it retains the standard key layout so you don't have to worry about fitting aftermarket keycaps onto it. Picking up this bad boy, you immediately feel the weight difference. The bottom case consists of a piece of solid cast aluminium and it weighs almost double of the poker tool. Other than improving the typing feel, you can in fact kill someone with it. Underneath the keyboard are four pieces of reasonably sized rubber feet to make sure your keyboard stays in place. And there's an opening for easy access to the deep switch for hardware layer customization. More on to that later. The keyboard nameplate is made of metal and laser engraved with the serial number and focus tagline. Enjoy your feeling. Interestingly, the case has thicker top border compared to the rest to be exact 5mm compared to 2mm. The back plate sits flush with the low profile case. Good job to Vortex for the high precision fit and finish. Sideways, the low profile design of the bottom case allows you to take a glimpse onto the Cherry MX RGB key switches. Some say it helps the keyboard from collecting dust. You can also see that the keycaps have curved profile for improved typing ergonomics. Speaking of keycaps, Vortex has opted for using the double shot ABS keycaps for this keyboard. They are multi coated and spell slightly better than regular double shots. But I would be happier if Vortex picked the double shot PBT and POM keycaps because honestly, that would be the best choice for this keyboard in terms of durability and typing experience. Taking off the keycaps reveals the Cherry MX RGB mechanical key switches. The transparent housing and white back plate helps to scatter the, and reflect the lights better. There are four different switch choices. First, the clicky and tactile blues. Second, the tactile browns. Third, the linear red. And fourth, the new linear natural white, which is a little bit heavier than the reds. Cherry stabilizers are used on the long keys such as the safe bar. They are easier for keycap removal than the wire type stabilizers and I believe Vortex has done some tweaking at that because it doesn't feel as mushy as regular cherry stabilizers. Some of you might think that you're losing a lot with the shrinkage in size, but in fact, no. The deep switch at the bottom of the keyboard allows the key user to toggle some of the configurations such as the keyboard layout and function key location. Just keep in mind that you need to download the user manual from Vortex or check out our deep switch explanation video. Moving back to the front, you still have access to all the missing function keys with the FN layer. It might seem troublesome for beginners, but once you get used to the layout, you're going to fly through the combos without having to look at the side printed labels. One thing I dislike is the Vortex decision to move the arrow cluster from WASD to IJKL which is extremely awkward to use. The keyboard also has native multimedia control built-in. However, they are not labeled on the keycaps. The FN layer is hard-coded, but Poker 3 has three extra programmable layers where you can assign up to three different macros on a single key. However, one thing I find it weird is that you need to keep the hotkey depressed 
order to execute the command and it will just continue to repeat the command until we lift our finger. Check out our Poker Trees programmable video and find out more. Then, the key attraction of this keyboard, the RGB LED backlight. Looking at the user manual, lighting customization functions fall under the PN layer, but Vortex printed the text menu instead of PN on the keycap. The keyboard comes with multiple onboard presets that includes full keyboard backlight as well as per key reaction type of lighting effect. The icing on the cake is the ability to support your own custom lighting pattern. Check out our Poker Tree RGB LED customization video to know more. So I guess that leads us to the conclusion time. I'll be honest with you, 60% keyboards has a very niche demand in the market. Only those mechanical keyboard enthusiasts who pay attention to this keyboard. Sometimes even tank killers are having a difficult time to sell due to the lack of numpad. That's why you don't see a lot of 60% keyboards out there. This is for those who are looking for a keyboard with a small footprint that saves their precious desktop space without sacrificing any of the full-size keyboard functions. Although the keyboard sells at 599 ringgit Malaysia, but consider that we are getting a top-notch build quality, especially cast aluminium chassis, we think it is fair. On top of that, we are also getting three programmable layers that as well as customization RGB backlighting. We have both loads of fun exploring the capabilities and potential of this keyboard, and certainly, you will find it interesting as well. And that concludes our review for the Poker 3 RGB. Hit the like button if you like it. Subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.